Some people gonna die. Yeah, some people are gonna fucking die, Jar Jar. Is this what any of you want? But holy testicle Tuesday Batman. Ah, get that thing out of there. Graybeard Gaming presents the Catfish Corner. Hi, I'm your host, Catfish, your ghost host with the most, and today we're discussing, reviewing, and recapping last night's episode of The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 3, and it was titled Thank You, which was a line dialogue from the episode, which they've been a fan of lately. Um, the episode was directed as Michael, by Michael Slovis, and this was his uh, directorial debut for The Walking Dead. Um, he's directed a couple episodes of Game of Thrones last season, and... Uh, some Breaking Bad in the past, but uh, this was his first uh, uh, Walking Dead, and uh, what a what a debut by a director on The Walking Dead. Uh, great episode. I loved every shot of it. Uh, Michael Slovis has been a longtime cinematographer, and that was evident, and every shot of the episode was, was magnificent. Um, it was written by Angela Kang, who's been a longtime writer on The Walking Dead. Uh, I think this was her 11th episode, maybe, and uh, uh, I know she has another episode coming this season. I, I know that... Um, She's written some of my favorites. I, I love the Still episode. Uh, uh, Ayanna Judas, Judge Jury Executioner, uh, Coda, um, uh, Four Walls and a Roof. I made you a promise. Anyways, uh, tonight's episode, opening shot, it's on Glenn. He's running towards the camera. Uh, he's, he's with Rick. It just picks up right after episode one ended. The horn's still going off. We're back with Rick's group. And, and they're, they're in the middle of the herd. You know, they, they have to keep moving, have to... Keep, keep in front of the herd is what they're trying to do. So Mr. Anti-Rick, fuck Rick, fuck Rick, fuck Rick, fuck Rick. Which I was like, damn, dude, stop with the fucking Rickin', all right? Well, um, Rick comes up with a plan that he's going to take this RV and kind of like flank the zombies or something, distract them. I don't know. He tells Glenn and Michonne, you guys got to make it back to Alexandria. Now listen, all the Alexandrians are not going to make it. You know, like like the anti-Rick guy, Sturgis, the David, uh, Annie, probably not going to make it back. You know? And... Also, ah! it's like, is that anti-Rick guy already? Holy shit. And of course, he's getting his throat tor torn out. We go back to, to Glenn's group, and they're in the woods. And they come in. Uh, of course, you know, there's zombies everywhere, so they encounter some zombies. Well, uh, Glenn looks at Michonne. Michonne looks at Glenn and Heath. And they're kind of like, all right, you red shirts stay back because you're going to fucking die. And they run forward, and they all kill some zombies. They start killing them. Then Scott, who's... Uh, Damn, the actor's name escapes me, but Sneakle Martin Green plays Sasha's husband. And uh, he, he's a spitting image of comic book Scott, too, you know, big, tall, bald, black dude. And and so here comes the zombies. So him and David are like, uh, all right, let's let's do this. And so they, they, they get in on it, you know. They're like, oh, hell, so Alexander's got some balls. Well, uh, the Sturgis guy who's got the funny hat, oh, my God, he pulls out his gun and actually shoots Scott in the fucking leg, all right? So Scott, Scott drops. So he takes off. He leaves everybody. Sturgis just heads off. Well, they kill the zombies. I'm showing Glenn and, and Heath. They all regroup. Uh, uh, Scott's laying there with some zombies on him. Uh, David and Glenn, everybody, and Nicholas is trying to help him up. Uh, David gets bit in the back. I think Annie at some point falls and either breaks or sprains her ankle. Of course, Scott gets shot by Sturgis. So it's like the three stooges of calamity there for a minute, the Alexandrian red shirts. They got some injured people now. So Annie's limping and, and she's here holding on to Glenn and Nicholas and vice versa with Scott on somebody else. They come to a town, which was my favorite scene of the episode, and it's an overhead shot of them just like walking into this deserted main street of a town. And the production design team did a brilliant job of just uh, making it look like uh, the Walking Dead universe. So Glenn's trusting Nicholas to, to lead the way. He's just like, Nicholas, you do it. And so they stop for a second and bandage uh, Scott's leg and, and, and take, a, take a rest. And we see a scene where Nicholas and Heath are, are sitting and talking. And this is the place, I believe, that uh, Nicholas and Aiden had uh, left some people to, to, to get eaten by zombies. And Nicholas comes clean to Heath. Well, they come across a reanimated corpse of one of the Alexandrians that Nicholas had left in the street. And Nicholas is like, no, let, let me do it. And he takes a second, but he, he brains it with a knife. So, all right, uh, we, we cut to Abraham and, and uh, Sasha and Daryl. They're, they're still leading the first half of the herd, you know. Uh, 
Only, only about half of the herd, maybe less, uh, broke off uh, when the horn sounded at Alexandria. So Sasha and Abraham and I got a little red station wagon, I think, and Daryl's on his the Dixon cycle uh, version 2.0, and uh, Rick radios them and, and pretty much tells them the RV plan. So Daryl's pretty much like, fuck this shit, I'm getting back and, and saving my people. My, my fucking Carol, who I haven't told her I love her yet, or kiss her, could be in trouble. So he's, he's pretty much like, all right, we're five miles. What, hold on, I gotta do my Daryl. We're five miles out. That should be good enough. And Abraham was like, 20 miles is the mission, mother dick. And Sasha's like, we can't stop you if you want to go, but we are going to need you. And then there's that like Daryl moment, you know, just like, you know, I'll make AMC some fucking money. I got faith in you. Blah, 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 blah. So Nick and Glenn, they're trying to find that feed store to burn down. They make it to the feed store. Surprise, surprise, it's already burned down. Well, Nicholas is uh, leading the way. Glenn's still trusting him. And he's just like, Nicholas, where do we go? Well, Nicholas leads them down a path that's a barbed wire fence and a dumpster. And behind them is thousands of zombies. The other way, there's thousands of zombies. So Glenn helps Nicholas on top of the dumpster. Nicholas goes to the Saving Private Ryan type moment where the ears are ringing in slow motion. He's looking at the zombies, awesome zombie effects, chomping at them. Glenn's like, look at me, look at me, trying to come up with a Glenn plan to get out of there. Nicholas says, thank you. Boom! Blows his brains out all over Glenn's face. Nicholas's body hits Glenn's. They fall off onto the pavement. And we see what seems to be Glenn getting devoured by zombies. But I really think Nicholas was on top of him. And Nicholas is the one that got eaten and eaten. And Glenn climbed underneath the dumpsters. But that might just be hopeful thinking. Rick's sitting in the RV. He's radioing ahead trying to, to, to reach somebody and can't reach anyone. And then, surprise attack. Chinky, 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 chinky. <laughs> That's the sound of a wolf breaking into your RV, Rick Grimes. And it's the same wolf that Morgan let go and let him pick up that motherfucking gun and leave Alexandria. Now has that gun drawn on Rick Grimes. Well, Rick Grimes is like, I'm Rick Grimes. Those guys end up on the ground, and Rick Grimes ends up with an AK-47 in his arms, shooting through the side of his RV, ba 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 to kill, I don't know, three to five wolves. Tries to start the RV, RV, it does not start, because maybe he shot through the side. So, Sasha and Abraham are coming up on this intersection, still, you know, all upset over Daryl leaving them, and, you know, they still got maybe even more than half of the initial rock quarry herd behind them. And who is it? Daryl Dixon, ladies and gentlemen, come to, to come to rejoin the group and already, already, totally redeemed himself. Rick starts looting one of the wolves he kills and sees baby food. Oh my God! Oh, baby Judah, baby Shane, no! Get back to Alexandria, Rick. So the only people that even make it back to Alexandria are uh, Michonne. Heath and uh, Scott, and, and Michonne and Heath have got Scott, like, you know, holding him, walking him in there, where Sturgis shot him in the leg. Uh, everybody else is still out there with zombies. All right, uh, only deaths of the episode were, um, okay, we had the anti-Rick guy that got bit right away when he was bitching at Rick to Michonne. Um, uh, the Sturgis, the hat guy, got eaten. Uh, Annie, when she couldn't keep up, just got devoured. Uh... David, of course, uh, got bit earlier and then, then got eaten later, and uh, Nicholas. And I'm not going to say Glenn died, because I think Glenn got up. If Glenn is dead, however, this was fucking awesome. He dies. No one's around. No one hears it. No one sees it. Maggie's going to be on the lookout. What the fuck happened to my husband? Standing on the towers of Alexandria for years to come. Remember a couple episodes, Tara and Maggie are talking, she, she reveals to Tara that Nicholas was actually trying to kill Glenn and want the bullshit in uh, Glenn spun to help protect Nicholas. So Tara and Maggie are uh, going to automatically think Nicholas has something to do with Glenn not returning. Um, this whole episode I felt they were trying to foreshadow Glenn's death by, by uh, teasing little things, you know, Rick telling him, you know, get out of there, don't, don't save him if you don't have to. 
and you know it's a Glenn. You know, he's gonna save him, obviously. And then Michonne at one point is like, "Don't do this. You have a wife." He's like, "I'm doing this because I have a wife." And he's like. I need a moment. He goes there, sets his pack down, even takes out Herschel's watch that was passed down to him. You know, oh, oh, Herschel Green, R.I.P. We miss you. And then it, it has even this music playing when it happens. And I don't know. I, I just don't buy it. Like the show is always like such a downer. Think about like Tyrese's death, Noah's death, uh, Bob's death. Right? Boom, 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 boom. Beth, all on top of each other. It's just, it's. Just, it's and I think they're trying to throw us a curveball here. I, I'm sorry, I know I got a little crazy there, but I think they're trying to throw us a curveball here, making us think Glenn's dead, but he's not. Maybe I'm just looking at it that way. So think back to the premiere episode this season when Morgan is holding baby Shane on Rick's porch, and Rick tells him about when he had uh, eaten Embry at gunpoint, how he wanted to kill him because he knew this guy should not be alive right now. It's just a moment of time before he fucks up and gets somebody else killed. Well, this is so true for Nicholas, and and it looks like he might have done that exact thing that Rick was talking about. All right, so we flash back to season one. I believe it's the second episode titled Guts. Um, Glenn helps Rick get out of the zombie-surrounded tank. And once they get to safety, Rick asks him, you know, back here at the tank, why don't you take your neck out for me? And Glenn pretty much tells him, if I'm ever that far up shit creek, I hope somebody will do the same for me. And I believe Scott Gimple, the absolutely genius showrunner and writer that The Walking Dead is fortunate to have is, is reaching that far back into the second episode of The Walking Dead to show that Glenn is that far up shit creek like Rick was surrounded by the same amount of zombies even maybe and that somebody has to help him out. Now who will that person be? We don't know yet. Maybe it'll be a new character. Maybe it'll be something we haven't seen. I don't think we're going to see for a couple of episodes. He wasn't in the memoriam on uh, Talking Dead. Neither was baby Judith after the governor's attack. So, no fucking way Glenn's dead. Uh, if it ain't by the Battle of Lucille, it ain't gonna be by fucking Nicholas. Hey, thanks for watching another Great Beard Gaming video. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, like our Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, keep it tuned here to Great Beard Gaming for everything that matters. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. When I'm not reviewing or recapping a Walking Dead episode, I like to drink white zombie white ale. And I'm not eating brains. This is my device. You gotta do the right, you, you, you gotta kinda get that. Your shoulder in, it's, it's your right shoulder, you gotta throw it forward. You have to bring your hand up, but point it down, even though you might be looking at them in the eye. And it's either three fingers or open five fingers. <laughs>